Uh, spruce beer. <laughs> Make it spruce beer. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> we'll wait. We can wait. And so spruce beer is something that people have actually brewed historically because um, spruce was reputed to prevent scurvy. I ha There's been some dispute about that. It doesn't I'm pretty really. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But that was what they thought back in the day. So um, whenever they they ran out of fresh ale on their ships, uh, because that was a really good source of potable water. God damn ducks. You're being really loud. You need to calm down. Uh, so I did some digging on primary sources and basically found that spruce beer was thought to cure scurvy or rather prevent scurvy. And uh, so they would land on shore uh, while they traveled up and down the coast. Uh, this is the East India Company, an Indian trading company. Uh, they traveled up the coast and they'd land and they'd pick spruce and they'd brew their beer. And it's a very you know, wishy-washy version of probably what actually happened. But there was a historical account of George Vancouver writing in his personal logs about landing and brewing spruce beer uh, in Vancouver, in the Vancouver area. Uh, probably up in Canada, not Vancouver, Washington, obviously, but that's where we're close to. Um, and it was probably with Sitka spruce, which is something that we don't really have access to here down in Oregon as much. Uh, we do on the coast. We do on the coast, but it's not here necessarily in the Portland metropolitan area, or even in the, in the coast range as much. It's more on the coast. So we end up getting more of our, uh, what do we call it? Doug fir tips. Doug fir tips. So Douglas fir uh, trees is are also uh, known as D uh, Douglas fir spruce or Douglas spruce. Something spruce. Something spruce. If you look, Wikipedia it's in tells, the spruce family. Look it up on Wikipedia. It'll tell you like the first result. So it's a, in the spruce family. It tastes just like spruce in our in our experience at least. Um, and so we started brewing the style, and basically we figured out afterwards that it was historical. Um, but it turns out that it's kind of a cool take because we're brewing it with all our ingredients, Oregon ingredients, except for the yeast, I guess. Um, which is English. Which is English. Which is so probably it's probably what, yeah, exactly. So um, it's kind of an English ale, uh, English spruce ale. Um, as I, it's probably the most accurate stylistic description. Just like single malt, single hop, single spruce, I guess. It's, Although this one we're doing different. It started off as a, a Maris Otter, pure Maris Otter beer. Um, and it's become a pure Le Mecca, Mecca grade uh, Lamanta, their pale malt. Um, <laughs> Here. Hey. It's really great, but it's also a little darker, so we do get a little more color, um, probably color depth out of it. It's less, less in the SRM and just more kind of. There's more golden. Yeah, I was gonna say it glows a little bit more than the normal pale malt Maris Otter does. But you want, you want to talk about the spruce? Yeah. So uh, we typically pick it. Uh, I think there's a video of it, but we typically pick it every spring. And it's it's kind of a it's a sort of hyper seasonal ingredient. The tips are only really the right size um, for a couple weeks, so we kind of keep our eyes peeled. And we have a particular spot we go um, on sort of the way to the coast um, off the highway. And in our experience, they taste the same, um, be, and we know that because actually the beer we brew is kind of a clone of. Uh, or originally started out as a clone of Fort George's uh, spruce, spruce bud, bud Ale, which they brew beer. every year, which is delicious, delicious beer, and actually still very, very similar to the one we make, um, which is basically really nice, pale, clear beer with some, um, it's it's not like totally dry, um, and the spruce character in the beer is just this almost candy quality, um, which, yeah, we liked so much we tried to make it ourselves basically. It always seems to come out really, really well. And it has this character, uh, sort of what I was talking about, the candy character. It's you think about spruce and you think that it's gonna be like a Christmas tree beer, and it really isn't. It's, it's a not totally piney. different it's flavor. Not it's not like gin. It doesn't taste like Yeah. It doesn't yeah. have that fur character to it. It's not the same thing. It's like this sweet, delicious candy flavor. Um, that and it's so unique. Um, in fact, it's definitely we've entered it in a couple competitions, uh, and it either seems to do very, very well because people know kind of the way that spruce is supposed to taste or actually taste, and or it does kind of badly because I think people mistake some of the the candy sweetness for like an off flavor, or like a bad ferment or something. Yeah. I think it's you know like a perspective. If you don't really know what it's supposed to taste like, it can kind of mess with your head. We recently had a friend who entered a dark beer with spruce, and all the judges' comments came back that it tasted like blackberry, and they should have entered it in a fruit beer category. And yeah, that's, that, that is like classic, 
classic spruce beer mistake. Yeah, like, yeah. I know, I know exactly what they're tasting, and yeah, it tastes like blackberries it's like in sweet, a way, fruity kind of. Yeah. But it's absolutely not. It's just a dark malt playing with the spruce character. I, I find it. So we we had this beer from our friend Corey. Shout out. Uh, it was delicious. I still stand by that beer. Yeah, it tasted really great, and he got a terrible score. And it was simply because I think two things. He entered. He called it a CDA when he should have just called it like a dark ale or something like that. And um, and because it, because the judges got hung up on that piece of information. And then also um, the spruce they thought tasted like blackberries, which sounds delicious to me. It tasted good. So like they even called it out and saying this was like a really good beer, and they would judge it more highly if they had entered in the right category, which is a different philosophical issue in our day. But um, yeah. Uh, we need else? to match out. Oh yeah. That's good. Okay.